Approximately 30 miles northeast of Mexico City lies the Highlands Plateau, known as the Valley of Mexico. During the 15th century, the Aztec Empire ruled over this region in central Mexico. But not far from their capital city, the Aztecs discovered the ruins of an even bigger metropolis that was built centuries earlier by an unknown civilization that vanished without a trace. The Aztecs would name this mysterious city Teotihuacan. The Aztecs arrived at this site in the 1400s, which was already ruined. And it fascinated them because obviously they did not know who had constructed it. And they called it Teotihuacan, which means the place of the gods. The scale of Teotihuacan, it's mind boggling. That's what really takes everybody back. We're talking about the largest city in the center of the Mesoamerican ancient world. It's a great place, an incredible place. All told, Teotihuacan covers an astonishing eight square miles, which is roughly the same size as ancient Rome. At the heart of the city is a two-mile-long road that the Aztecs named the Avenue of the Dead. It is dominated by three giant pyramids dedicated to the sun, the moon, and a legendary feathered serpent known as Quetzalcoatl. According to archaeologists, the urban planning of Teotihuacan was centuries ahead of its time. It's thought that possibly as many as 200,000 people lived here at its peak. But ultimately, the big mystery is we don't know who built Teotihuacan. We know who built the Great Wall of China. We know who built the Colosseum in Rome. And yet we don't know who constructed Teotihuacan. So why is this? The fact is the builders had no written language, so there is no record of who constructed it. If you look at it, the city is built on a grid. This is something that's fascinating. Who were the city planners? Who actually thought about this and how to design it? That's an interesting thing, because the planners behind this didn't have the wheel, and there was no metal in Teotihuacan. So we're talking about basically stone tools and humans moving clay, moving stones. Although Teotihuacan remains shrouded in mystery, archaeologists have carried out numerous excavations to learn more about the origins of this magnificent city. Through archaeological research, we know that the oldest constructions at Teotihuacan are focused in the northern part of the city. They date to around, oh, 300, 400 BC. But it was really around 100 AD that we start to see the monumental construction phases happening, all the way up through around 600, 650 AD. So the rise of Teotihuacan took place over a period of about 600 years. If we could travel back in time to Teotihuacan during its heyday, we'd be seeing merchants selling things along the Avenue of the Dead. We would see people coming from all over Mesoamerica to make pilgrimages to the monuments at the site. It was definitely the cultural hub of the entire region of Mesoamerica. And then there was a notable period of collapse. But if Teotihuacan was such a thriving metropolis, then it begs a question. Why would the unnamed builders of this ancient city choose to abandon it? Well, according to archaeologists, an important clue can be found along the ancient city's central boulevard, where there are burn marks on the ruins of several temples. Teotihuacan was occupied almost seven to eight centuries. But the ceremonial precinct in downtown was partially burned down around 550. And then the whole city falls apart after that. Along the Avenue of the Dead, there was burning of these monuments and major temples. Now, there are some different theories on how this could have happened. 
The first theory is that some external army, some external group came in and sort of wiped out everything, destroyed the downtown, and then people left. But another theory that might explain why major areas of downtown Teotihuacan were burned would be civil war, an uprising of the local population. Is it possible that a civil war caused the original inhabitants of Teotihuacan to leave their city? Perhaps. But some researchers believe the civilization that built Teotihuacan vanished because of something far more sinister. Through archaeological research, we actually have clear evidence for human sacrifice.